What's going on guys, Xavier here and I'm over here with another Demon Slayer add-on with you guys. This one is the best one. You can actually play with your friends, upgrade your stuff, level up as you go. Everything is cool. Now the map is made from somebody else. So keep that in mind. But the game is cool. Alright guys. And I'll see you then. Alright guys, so first thing you're gonna do is spawn in. You're gonna need to look down. It's gonna spawn you in to a family, right? Once that spawns you into a family. If you guys wanna know what the families do, all you gotta do is look down and shift. This one gives me two starting SP. So I got two skill points, which is good. And you can't become a demon yet. They're still updating it. So as we speak, you know, it's still updating and stuff like still making more for it so to become a demon slayer that's something different so actual what part of family you are what family are you in you're a kamado family one of the best ones so you should have um the fire breathing thing right like look down and sh how much dang it's pretty good what we're gonna do now is find some demons to slay now as you guys know to be able to become a demon slayer you must defeat demons they're very simple very easy right we're gonna go outside and defeat them really quick actually I got a stone sword if you want it at the front door okay so what you first need to do is you see this you need to defeat him once you defeat him you must not die because then, well, you gotta defeat another one. So they're gonna drop a demon horn. Once they drop a demon horn, this thing on the upper left, right there, is gonna tell you a few stuff. Now, if Axel defeats a demon as well, like, that's right behind her, she might be... If she defeats it, then she will get the same thing happening to her. We need to find somebody to teach us one of the breathings. So they can be any NPC. Right? And I gotta tell you which NPCs there are, okay? So, Himajima, this guy's gonna give you stone breathing. If you guys want stone breathing, just click on him, talk to him, and he'll tell you collect as much demon's horns and just throw into the ground like that, and it'll redeem itself. So, this one is, this one gives you sun breathing. This guy will give you... That one will kill you. Um, <laughs> but I think if I talk to him, he should give you moon breathing, right? After his epic fight with them. Anyways, uh, let's continue on until then. Uh, this is 72. He will give you lightning breathe. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna kill us if we get too close to him. Then there's Rengoku, who will give you fire breathing. There's Tsunami, who will give you wind breathing. And uh, there's... Who will give you water breathing. Anyways, regardless, this guy, Kokushibo, I believe will give you moon breathing. So... What's happening? I'm scared. Am I in a cutscene or something? Uh... -uh. Taking my headphones off. I'm a bit scared. What's happening here? I clicked him. What's happening? I can't move. So guys, don't click on him. After you find a person or the Hashiro or the person to give you the breathing, they're going to give you a book. So they're going to give you a book. And what you're going to do with the book is simple. You're going to use it. <laughs> So with the Slayer notes, right, you're able to upgrade your health and mobility, right? With the compendium of breaths, you're able to upgrade your breaths. I want, let me, uh, I want moon breathing. So I'm going to use this. All right, guys. So, boom. I became a demon slayer and just skipped the whole entire process. But I got this Nishining Blade. Now. 
You can actually obtain different Nishirin blades, like all these. Like the, the great swords and the, the other stuff. So I wanted a I'm not I wanted a red one instead. So I'm gonna be using a red Nishirin sword. Uh, do you want this one? Ew. To breathe, what you're gonna need is shift or crouch once you crouch you're actually breathing you're powering it up once you have enough for the first one which is that number right there 10 percent that is how much you need of this to be in so i can use this and that will work actually has 15 health 17 yeah she starts with 20. to upgrade it you're gonna need to kill a lot of things and eventually upgrade them but to upgrade your breaths you can actually use skill points how do you check for skill points you may ask once again go down look down and shift that's how you get it once you unlock everything you get a title i'm the moon hashira apparently term of styles i can't really tell you what they do because i have no idea so slayer notes you can actually mobility you can actually upgrade your mobility you can actually Upgrade your health, which is still working progress, but hey, it works out. You can upgrade your mobility, more speed. I think to, to a point where you can actually just, yeah, it is pretty simple guys. So now, besides that, right, now that you have the evening palace, and all, I mean, your breath, right? You should be able to do a lot more things. You should be able to concentrate, breathe, and use all your abilities. Once you unlock another ability, just shift and use the uh, the button to use your abilities and I'll switch your abilities. Like I got Loves of Moon now, which is pretty cool. This is Evening Palace, Loves of Moon, Calamitous. Ellie. This is Mirror of Misfortune. And then this is the best one, which I really like. Hey Axel, come over here. Hi, how are you doing? You're in creative, that's cheating. Wait, no you're not. And how did you survive that? Haha, <laughs> she didn't. So yeah, that's Moon Weaving. As you see, I kind of changed my skin so that it looks more into the thing that was moon breathing guys so moon breathing is pretty good i like it fighting styles i can't really tell you anything about it because i don't know about it so um if you guys want more information on that and the families and everything about the mod or the add-on it's in the description below the creator has actually made something for you guys to know what it does what this is the flame book of flame so i learned the book of flame and now i have fire breathing Rising Scorching Sun, does that. Rising Universe, Undulation, which just does a very OP thing. This is Flame Tiger. That happened. It, it even, uh, it did so much damage that even after death, I only have five health. And that's regen. Oh my God. Water surface slash, water wheel, which I guess needs to be like a specific, like, thing. This is waterfall basin. Constant flux, which needs to be at 40%. Actually, striking tide, which is this, just slash, and then constant flux wish I think Axo died from that yeah that's basically that and uh, that was book of water now let's check out wind after receiving that this is a dust whirlwind cutter wish I still gotta breathe I forget to breathe every single time okay that was pretty cool and then this is Claw's Purifying Wind. That was pretty cool. 
that was the typhoon this is called mountain wild <laughs> this is a black mountain which is pretty easy pretty pretty simple and that's basically all of them clean storm wind tree which is this yeah guys i think the typhoon is the strongest one there is this is dance which you guys know that's dance if you guys have a problem with getting stuck for example like this Get stuck with dance just hit anything even the air like that will make you stop so the next one is clear blue sky you're gonna want to be somewhat in the air a bit to do it oh sorry this is fake rainbow i said fake rainbow Which doesn't really do much. Does damage. Oh no, where, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I'm inside. And then this is Solar Dragon. Which I need 30% to activate this. Which I assume this is the last one. So... If you had somebody to... Did, did that just kill you two times? <laughs> That's OP. Thunderclap and Flash. Which I know you guys know this one. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Guys, don't do it while looking in a wall because you can go through walls apparently. So this is what it does. Make sure you do it in a flat surface because if not, you're gonna die. This is my spirit. This is thunderstorm. This is distant thunder. And once again, I am stuck in a wall. And this is Heat Lightning. Which you need 20% to activate this one. That was Thunder Clap and Slash. Hold up. This is Heat Lightning. Now I'm bipolar, which is this. So we're going to breathe and use it. Next one we're gonna try out is Upper Smash. Which I guess does the job. Next one we're gonna try a style is Stone Skin. And then next one we're gonna try to test out is what kind of rock raid conquest. Which does a lot of damage. The last one we're gonna do is Arcs of Justice. Sorry, Axel, you're dead. Two times in a row. There are also other weird stuff that you can obtain in survival. For example, uh, I mean in creative. The Howery of the Wind Hashua, you can obtain it, which is pretty cool. If you, if you like the Wind Hashua, which um, I don't. Uh, you can get the Flame one, which is the best one, in my opinion. But... Um, no, that's not up to me. You can get the Heavenly DNA, which lets you assign a family again. So I got the Wrecking Crew family. Hey, it kind of works out, but I have my own. Thank you. The Food of Wisdom, once you eat it, it gives you two S skill points or three, but it makes you nauseous. The Breath Serum, no idea what it does. Then we have the Cloud Kimono, which is basically the when, when you are in with the Uro something family you get it automatically and you got this one the water hashua haobi 
And the final one, which is the boar head, which unfortunately doesn't have any model yet. So yeah, guys, that's basically everything. So yeah, guys, that's basically the end of this video. If you guys like, like the map and the add-on description down below. And if you guys really, really, really enjoyed this video, comment down below what you guys want to see next, what add-on maybe interest, you know, and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys until next time. And once again, this add-on was recommended by this person. So yeah, I'll see you guys until next time. See ya.